going on, sweet gang? It's your girl, Rochelle, back with another video. Coming to give you life. And I'm coming to give you life on how to achieve the white candy apple. And along with some other stuff as well. But as you come into this video, I've already created the mixture. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss out on getting connected with your girl Rochelle. So as I go into this video, I'm going to explain um, how I achieve the white candy apple, which I'm going to do so right now. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up at the end of this video and I will get you connected and definitely give you life thank you for joining me and to my subbies what's going on sweet gang what it do let's get into it so i got my already clean candy apples by granny smith and simply achieving the white candy apples is just this adding your white at the end okay so what i'm going to demonstrate to you here is basically showing you the end process of the candy mixture already being done and i'm just going to add white at the end okay and if you see here this is how much white i'm adding to it And I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. But I don't think that's enough white. You want to mix to where, where it's all. And then that may be enough white. But I don't want it transparent. But yep, it is enough white. You don't want to add too much to where then it's going to be thick thick and when it's thick then you're not going to get the fullness of dipping all your apples and what the recipe calls for so this is completely white okay and i want to let my bubbles settle and as they subside i'm going to take my clean candy apple here clean granny smith apple tilting the pot to where the mixture goes to the corner of the pot and just dive in there and give it a good turn I got some some bubbles showing in there but that's why you want to make sure that you dip and let all the bubbles settle. Okay. And as I just let this drip, scraping the bottom, scraping the side of the pot, setting it on the silicone mat. Got a bubble going. You can catch these bubbles, but you won't want to catch them too bad. Okay. Tilting my pot and just dipping my apple here. I'm going to make sure all that is dipped. Okay. These are fairly large apples so that you know. And the recipe is my 411 recipe that I have shared with you guys. Check out my other video for the recipe. And as I let the candy drip, I'm going to scrape the bottom. 
you want to let your candy drip as much as possible so you don't get that saucer plate at the bottom okay the candy do get hard very quickly and there is your white apple okay this got a little bubble there only because I didn't I dipped and it was still some bubbles in the candy mixture okay so you want to make sure that you let your mixture um, settle before dipping I just wanted to go hurry up and dip because I didn't want it to get hard but as you see here this is a good clean candy apple I love my white I got blue at the bottom because I had some glitter that I'm getting ready to show you guys as well I'm really doing what um, has been um, requested I'm trying to get all the um, requests but if you all know, it is thousands of you putting in requests. And I am doing all of my methods and techniques. I'm giving y'all life. And I'm coming to you guys to give you all that I know. And that you are willing to learn and appreciate. Um... It's one thing I love to do is I love to teach and I also love to see people grow. So I, I want to make sure that you understand. I want to give you the basics first. I know um, it's a lot of requests for the uh, popcorn and um, a lot of other stuff. I want to come to you and give you theme treats. So whereas if you look in you came up with an idea or a customer came to you with an idea for let's say we're gonna say Mickey and Minnie okay I'm I'm gonna be coming to you giving you treat ideas um, uh, so that you will see uh, the setup or the offer that you can give to your customers okay so that is really gonna be a big deal um, on my channel because that is really something that you guys I know can use can take in your sweet business and you can grow from it add to it and put coins in your pocket all at the same time trust me that's why it ain't called your sweet connection for nothing because I'm gonna get you connected and if you haven't learned nothing from this channel and it's not the channel for you it's many 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 people that's on here um, that I'm sure that you can grow from and learn something from and, and, and move on from it. So um, I thank you for being um, loyal and, and showing love and support. I really do. So um, as I move this over, I had to get my side note out the way. <laughs> As I move this over, I am going to show you how to add glitter to your white apple. Okay? If you love the white and you love that shine in the white, let me see this video get to 500 likes. Give me 500 likes on the white apples. Nice bottom. Okay? That shine though. That shine. That shine though. It's gonna go crazy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the glitter part. And while we wait, I'll be back to get our glitter on. Alright, sweet peeps, we are back and we finna get our glitter on. And what I have here is my two Wilton's kabuki brushes. All right, that you can get from your local um, Walmart or you can order online on Amazon or you can even get them from uh, Michaels. Okay, I have my edible FDA approved edible glitter. This is FDA approved. FDA approved. I am going to do a video on 
all the supplies that I use, the do's, the don'ts, and all of that, so you all would know exactly what to use, what not to use, um, um, what's decorative, what's not decorative, and so on. So, um, you'll see, and I know a lot of people was asking for this um, a while ago, but I was waiting on the shipment to come in. So now that it's in, this is edible FDA approved glitter. Not Disco Does or anything like that. It is FDA approved um, glitter. And we are in this edible glitter. And we are, I'm going to show you how to apply it to your candy apple. In here, in this cup here, I just have clear water, okay, my glitter, this is nothing but a shaker, okay, and I just got me a clear container because what I'm going to do is just apply it in here and then we're going to get to applying the glitter to the apple, okay. I'm also going to leave a description below where you can order your FDA approved glitter okay so what I'm going to do is have one brush for the glitter and have one bl brush for um, the water and what I'm going to do is just dab a little bit of water not too much let me get my paper towel here and then I'm just going to coat my apple just coat it streaking it down okay now while I do that I'm going to take some glitter just dab it like as so and then applying it now you want to make sure I really did want to get this glitter on my mat because it will is it will get not stuck on there but hard to get out. So you want to make sure you put some parchment paper on the bottom of your mat. Okay. And sometimes it takes up it takes more than what I just poured in here. I'm just coating it around. If you got some on the bottom, just use what you can from your mat. And then I'm showing you how to use it from your shaker with, with the shaker. This glitter can get some everywhere. So now what I'm doing is mixing the water with the glitter and the brush and just going in circular motion. I'm just picking up this extra that's on the mat. Okay. In circular motion to where it's totally covered. Okay. Uh -oh. 
The glitter is a little different than you would do with the disco dust. But as you see here, my I added some glitter to the um, apple first, coating it. And then now I add it with the water and then the dust. So now my brush is wet and then I have dust, well, um, the edible glitter on the brush. And now I can coat evenly around my apple. Okay. In circular motion. That's how you get that, that iridescent look. Um, somebody was on my Instagram and I guess you guys finally went over to my other IG page, um, Sassy Sweets and Edible Treats. That's actually where it all started. Sassy Sweets and Edible Treats. And then I created the private group that I teach in as well, Divine Bacon Divas, which the membership has closed at this time and um, I have some somebody found one of my old apple pictures and they wanted to know how did I get the apple to look the way it did and this is this is what I did right here okay Now the technique that I just showed you, this is how you want to do the apple, okay? Um, to get that iridescent look. The apple do have to dry, okay? This is FDA approved edible glitter. I have to tell you that. If you go and do um, the disco glitter, um, that is for decorative purposes only read the labels when doing so um and keep in mind uh, what you apply and what you put on um your apples or your trees okay so here we have this has it's going to be sticky you want to let this dry completely okay because what you done did was apply the water and the candy to the water to the candy makes it sticky so leaving it out and it's going to dry you can then put it in the refrigerator okay so that it'll dry and that is beautiful now I'm gonna show you again on the other apple okay taking the kabuki brush and just applying the water Just not heavy coated, just lightly coated. Okay. Just lightly coated. And you can do it. I try to keep my hand out the way. And you can coat it like this. If you got the shaker. I'm trying to be transparent as well because a lot of people don't have the supplies that I have. So I try to versatile and show you several ways that you can do this for those that don't have everything that I'm using okay and please don't waste so you want to blot it first and the reason being and you're gonna find out once you try this is that it's going to be sticky and your brush will be just like oh it's, it's sticky Okay. Okay. So you got that process done, right? So after you did all of that, and note again, it's going to be sticky. Okay. After you done went through and did all of that, Okay, you want to start applying 
in a rotating motion, adding some water to it. And then the glitter, and then a rotating motion. See that? Rotating motion. Now, if you just try this and went straight on, you, you're going to have a hard time because then it's going to be sticky. Um, you want to apply. It's like prepping it first and then coating it. Water. Glitter. And coat. Okay, and just go around the apple. And keep in mind, go in a circular motion because you got glitter, you're gonna have glitter up in this brush. Going around coating. Get the glitter off here because you want to use Everything that you have, because this glitter is not cheap, <laughs> okay? Sure, it's all coated. And I believe that is it. And there you have it. Okay, and that is how you coat and get this look. It's starting to dry, but these have to dry completely. Okay, these have to dry completely. See here, just let it dry completely. So these used to be white apples, and now they're glitter gold. Okay? They're glitter gold. And um, however you want to do them, these are some of my little tutus that I got that I've made, which I'm going to show you how to make those in another video. But here it is once again, your girl Ro. Then got you connected. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave in the comment section how you got connected. And be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and all my subbies. Thank you for your love and support. It's signing out time, y'all. It's your girl, Ro. Getting ready to go. But we'll see you in the next video. Y'all be blessed. And bye-bye.